Welcome to Ludic Science. In this video, I will show you this circuit to test crystals. As you may know, crystals are widely used in electronics for oscillator circuits. Crystals are electronic elements that are made usually of quartz, either natural or synthetic. Uh, when you apply an electric current to the crystal, it resonates at a particular frequency. In fact, uh, the quartz inside the, the element is normally cut in the form of a tuning fork, just as a mechanical vibrator. And the frequency that you obtain from the quartz crystal is very, very precise, which makes them perfect for electronic oscillators. Next time you need a PCB for your electronics project, consider using the professional services of JLC PCB. JLC PCB is the world leader in PCB fabrication. You can order online. You just need to register, upload your Gerber file, and wait a few days for your PCBs at an unbeatable price. Here you can see the crystal tester diagram. It works with 9 volts DC. And here we put the crystal under test. The crystal together with the first transistor form an electronic oscillator. These two capacitors form a capacitive voltage divider and the signal goes, the oscillating signal goes through this capacitor that filters out any DC component. So at this point, we must have a sinusoidal uh, output. This goes to these two diodes, which rectify the signal and is filtered by this other capacitor. So at the base of the transistor, we get a DC voltage that turns the second transistor on and the LED turns on. But if the crystal is bad, no oscillations will be produced and no current will go to the base. Therefore, the LED will not turn on. So here is the circuit on breadboard. The crystal under test will be connected at these two points and if the crystal is good, our LED will turn on. So let's do the test. I will take this uh, crystal here, which is of 12 megahertz, and connect it to the test points of the circuit. And let me turn on the power supply, 9 volts. And there you can see that the LED turns on, meaning that the crystal is good. If we change the crystal with this other one, which is bad, we can see that the LED remains off. So let me connect back the good crystal and see the output of the circuit in the oscilloscope. I will connect first uh, the point before the rectifier part. So there you can see the output, which is uh, almost a sine wave. And I don't know if you can see in the screen, but here we can see that the oscilloscope says that is 12.00 megahertz. So that uh, tells us that the crystal produces a very, very precise frequency output. And now if I move the test point of the oscilloscope to the base of the second transistor, there you can see the rectified signal, which is DC that is fed to the base of the second transistor. So there you have it, a very simple circuit to test crystals. 
I hope you liked this video. If that is the case, please visit my Patreon page. Thanks for coming to my channel and see you in the next video.